guys in this video we are going to see how to add continuous time signals here we have two continuous time signals the first signal is called x1 t x1 of t and the second one is x2 of t we are going to add these two together and let's call the new one x3 of t okay x3 of t is going to be equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t now to add these two together what we are going to do is we are going to pick each interval like from this one we can start with negative two, 3 to negative 2 because this the second graph is starting from negative 3 to negative 2 so we have to start from here and end it at 2 because the second graph is ending at 2 so we are going to take all the interval and we are going to add them together and that's it now first interval is negative 3 to negative 2 so we can say negative greater than negative 3 and the t is greater than negative 3 less than or equal to negative 2 at that interval we have x1 of t that is equal to 0 x1 of t is equal to 0 and x2 of t at that interval negative 3 to negative 2 you can see then at that interval we have 2 right so this is equal to 2 and if the if we add these two together that's going to give us the x3 of t and that's equal to 2 so we found out this interval now let's move to the next interval negative 2 to negative 1 we can write this one as negative greater than t is greater than negative 2 and less than or equal to negative 1 at that interval if we look at the x1 of t graph that is at 1 right so we can say x1 of t is equal to 1 and x2 of t at that point we have negative 1 okay so x2 of t is equal to negative 1 if we add these two together that's going to give us x3 of t and that's equal to 0 so this is this interval now let's move to the next interval negative 1 to 0 so we can write this one as negative t is greater than negative 1 and less than or equal to 0 at that point x1 of t x1 of t is at 2 so x1 of t is equal to 2 and at that point we have x2 of t that is equal to negative 1 so x2 of t is equal to negative 1 and if we add these two together that's going to give us x3 of t and that is equal to 1 okay now let's move to the next interval that is 0 to 1 so we can say 0 t is less greater than 0 less than or equal to 1 at that point x1 of t is equal to 2 and then x2 of t is going to be equal to 1 therefore x3 of t is going to be equal to 3 right so this is equal to 3 let's move to the next interval that is 1 to 2 so 1 t is greater than 1 less than or equal to 2 at that point x1 of t is equal to 0 1 to 2 this is equal to 0 x2 of t at that point 1 to 2 that is equal to 2 if we add these two together that's going to give us x3 of t and that is equal to 2 okay now we have all the intervals so we can plot our new graph so in the new graph negative 3 to negative 2 we are going to have 2 so this is going to be 2 right here okay 2 and then after that negative 3 to negative 2 2 and negative 2 to negative 1 it's 0 so negative 2 to negative 1 it's going to be 0 and after that we have negative 1 to 0 this is going to be 1 so negative 1 to 0 this is going to be 1 and then 0 to 1 we are going to have 3 0 to 1 we are going to have 3 and then 1 to 2 we are going to have 2 1 to 2 we are going to have 2 and that's how we add two continuous like we add continuous time signals right 
it doesn't matter how many you can always add like this and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching